it's really kind of funny to watch. When you start playing with this, you're going to start seeing it's like almost like a subconscious like thing she can't control. She starts trying to be different. She just realizes, oh, I have to answer this. And then she goes back and goes, oh, well, I have to answer this as well and gets in. And then all of a sudden you just get into this conversation. And from there we can break into attraction. All right. Commandment number seven. Thou shalt use intrigue. This done correctly is deadly. This will almost always turn a different set around. Now, the problem is it's really hard to improv, entry type stuff. You may want to use some routines that uh, bank on this. Again, oldie but a goodie, one of the most famous ones was the best friends test. How does that get them open up? Why was that used right off the opener? Because it's intriguing. Have you guys took the best friends test? Do you know if you're really best friends? Well, no, but now I want to know. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I've never even heard of this before, right? It baits that chase response. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm, again, not about traction, it's just, can I get her chasing? So you might want those specific routines, but if you don't have them, there is a way, a natural way to do it every time. And that is using open loops. Open loops are one of the easiest way to trigger that chasing uh, switch that makes conversation just instantly easier. All right? And it's a really easy way to make open loops happen. All right, so let's go on to the next slide. Commandment eight. Hopefully you saw that open loop. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you some examples of how to make that happen, all right? All you have to do is cut off what you're saying, leave that intrigue there, and then just move on. And ideally what's going to happen is they'll start coming back and chasing after you. If anyone's used an old school routine like the cube, for example, you start telling her all these interesting things about herself, you use that, that cube stuff, and then all of a sudden, you just you, you get ADD and you realize, oh yeah, what's going on over here? By the way, I want to ask you something. What happens? She goes, what? no, no, go back to the, what, tell me, what does that mean? You never told me what it means. What was the next question? That's banking on this intrigue principle. So, but again, the cubes, that's, that's something you couldn't use till later on. What's something we can use right off the bat within different girls? How can we spark it then? Some fun open loops are, you do realize there's a guy here who's been like staring at you for an hour, right? Even if the girl was literally like, I want nothing to do with you, she's she has to know, who, what guy? She's instantly intrigued at this point. Um, another one, you know, you're actually really cute, but there's something about you that makes you unapproachable. I don't know if you knew this. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter how hot she thinks she is or what the deal is, what? I, I have to know now, what, what makes me unapproachable, why? Right? She is now invested. It's one of the quickest ways you're gonna get from nothing to her, okay, I need to converse with you. I need to have this conversation. And with that, we can then move on. We can then progress it and bit by bit build that compliance. All right, commandment number eight. Thou shalt cycle through topics she may find interesting. <laughs> All right. So many guys plow and they do not use this. They don't, they just talk about whatever, right? Again, I could talk to a wall, but it doesn't make the wall want to talk back. We need to get her to want to be part of this, to want to engage. So for this, we're going to instantly change interaction. Uh, what, what, oh, sorry, when this happens, the interaction will instantly change. It's just a boom effect. I'll be talking about random stuff, random stuff. She's nodding. She's looking away. She's bored. Random stuff. All of a sudden, I see something that hits, and she steps around. She goes, you know about that? You've seen this? Holy sh I love that. Oh, my God. Like, they'll just light up. It's one of the freakiest things. So to do it, though, you're going to kind of, kind of, uh, kind of, be changing topics blind. You're not really going to know where it's going. The only way to know which topics might hit or what might not is A, just know a bunch of topics that women find interesting, and B, elicit the girl you're talking to. How is she dressed? How does she talk? How, what's her look? What's her vibe like, right? What kind of girl am I dealing with? Uh, if you go out enough times, you can literally tell a girl's personality before you even approach. I could see a girl, I'll know if she's going to be really receptive, if she's going to be rude, if she's going to be a rocker chick. I, I could just, I'd know this girl's personality, about like 90% success rate. I can just call it. Is, you're going to get an intuition for this. Uh, ideally, what you want to hap have happen is as you're cycling through these topics and one hits, you're going to want to be something that you have in common. If you realize all friendships are based on commonalities, it's how we can vibe so easily off with one another. We're all here, we have one great commonality, don't we? We want to get better with women. 
We want to better our dating lives. If anybody comes up to talk to me, they're not going to come up and be like, so, dude, that basketball game the other night, man, did you, did you see the score? No way. It's going to come up to like, all right, so dude, I'm working on this approach, right? But I don't really have a good transition off. I was wondering what you're thinking about this. Like, no, anyone who comes and talks to each other, you're going to talk about game. Because we all know that's our commonality. And through that commonality, we can become friends. It's easy. It's easy to go off of, right? So we want to establish that with the girl because vibing, talking, just becomes insanely easy again. And it's something we both like. But what happens if we don't have that? What happens if I hit a topic that this girl loves and she's willing to invest now, but pff, I, don't, I don't know anything about it? Don't fear. If this happens, we can then use curiosity. All we have to do is show that I'm curious about this thing you're interested in. I want to learn more. Tell me more about it. And we get her talking. A lot of times, keep in mind, a girl's favorite topic is going to be herself. That's why most of the time when I'm talking to women, I'm keeping the interaction on them. I'm keeping it about either them, myself, or us together. I'm not just going into factual information that has nothing to do with us. It's not stimulating. Uh, here's a key point, though. Remember, once she's engaged, don't become her girlfriend. A lot of guys get too trigger happy with this. They're, they're trying about indifference. The girl's not giving them anything. They're cycling through different topics. And then all of a sudden, they find one that hits. And then they'll spend the next two hours talking about this thing they don't care about. It means nothing. Once you get in the friendly vibe with the girl and the indifference is over, you have to break out of it. You can't go from indifference to her just being all attracted and wanting you. But you can take that extra step. Indifference to, OK, I like talking to this guy. I can talk about whatever. To now I'm teasing you, playing around with you, sparking the attraction. So you have to break out of that. And now I'm going to give you a few female friendly themes. So one would include outdoor activities. That I've honestly found the hotter the girl, or the, sorry, the higher quality of the girl, um, <laughs> the more she likes outdoor type of activities. Whether it's scuba diving, whether it's hiking or running, uh, whether it's the beach, you know, I'm from Florida, I always love the beach, beach on life. Anything you can talk about those topics, the better. Uh, party life, the best clubs out, what upcoming concerts are going on, uh, favorite music and, you know, the, the best drinks, Whatever. Other things, pop culture. Uh, really great. This actually, this actually hit in a, a girl I used uh, about two or, th two or three weeks ago where I was like, battling this and different. I was throwing random stuff out there. And then all of a sudden, I just brought up the Bachelorette with pop culture. And she flew open. Then we started role playing. We're, we're going to give each other a rose, all this stuff. Um, luckily, I knew about it because one of my roommates is a girl, and she's always playing the Bachelorette. So I just started watching it. You got to know the girly stuff that's going on in pop culture. Uh, another thing going on right now, Fifty Shades of Grey. You go talk to any girl, they're basically reading it. One out of two girls is reading Fifty Shades of Grey. 